Uh, so why is it so much uh, uh, a problem in France? And it's something we discuss with uh, some uh, American colleagues. They are always very surprised that France considered as a quite liberal um, country in, in terms of behaviors. Um, is facing such difficulties to recognize gay marriage. Um, actually, the main debates are not so much about marriage, but about filiation, about children, about the possibility for a couple of men or a couple of women to have a joint filiation with regards to, uh, to the child. Um, and um, to give you uh, an example, why this is so complicated. I, I will just, because I don't have a lot of time, mention two things. First, historically speaking, citizenship in France has really been um, constructed through the civil code uh, on the basis of filiation. That is to say, you become a French citizen because you have had, at a certain point in your life, the status of children of the nation. It's not by chance that it's the first sentences of the national anthem, Allons uh, enfants de la patrie. This idea that children belong more to the nation than to their parents is part of French history. We could even say that to a certain extent, parents have just the custody of their own children. Uh, and they, they have the responsibility to bring, it, uh, to bring them, to make them good citizens for the state. Which is actually a very different uh, uh, conception than uh, the conception of, of, of filiation in the United States, where you belong to a community and the better you are within your community, the better citizen you might be for your country. In France, this direct connection between children and the state is one of the reasons why there is such anti-communitarianism in France. You only belong to one single community, that is to say the nation. And it goes well with a certain sense of privacy, which is not equivalent to the sense of privacy that exists in the United States. Here, privacy, including uh, freedom of religion, is about protecting yourself, protecting your real against public intervention. Uh, in France, it's, it's completely different. It's about trying to determine who, is, who can be officially recognized in the public sphere. That is to say that you public sphere shouldn't be interfered uh, or shouldn't be bothered by private issues. But of course, what is considered as private and what is not considered as private is based on a certain number of norms, majoritarian norms. And if you are heterosexual and you embody a certain lifestyle that is considered as dominant, you're more likely to reach the status of uh, a public person than if you're homosexual. And if I'm saying that, it's, it's also a very good example of what doesn't change in France, even with regards to the law on marriage. You have very few public figures who are openly homosexuals, in particular in the political area, which is not the case at all if you look at, uh, at uh, the United Kingdom, for, for instance. So there is also this reason, this difference in terms of what uh, the privacy mean. And, and final reason, there has been um, increasing emphasis on the body in France for the past 30 or 40 years. The body as the core of the national identity. It can be explained for many different reasons. If we have more time, I can give you more details about that. Uh, but it's in the context of the 80s where you had new possibilities of assisted reproduction, new possibilities of filiations where a certain number of bioethics committees were created and actually they were pretty conservative and they actually tried to limit, to frame these very technical possibilities, not to make them individual rights, but only to medicalize them. So that's how we have a law in 1994.